Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, My Hobby House. Today, I'm gonna share a simple recipe of making a plain sponge cake which is soft and fluffy with fresh cream frosting. Then, we are gonna add some drips to the cake and decorate it with fruits on the top. Here, I will show you how to make your own dripping gel at home. So, let's get started. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for updates. Preheat the oven to 350 degree Fahrenheit. Whisk the flour, salt, baking powder and baking soda together and keep aside. Here, I am using all purpose flour, but cake flour always gives the best result. It gives more soft and fluffy cake. Using a hand mixer or stand mixer, beat the butter and sugar together on high speed until smooth and creamy. Always use softened butter, that is, it should be at the room temperature. Here I am using granulated sugar. Spread down the sides of the bowl as needed. Now add two large eggs and beat it in high speed until combined. The mixture looks curdled sometimes but that's not a problem. It's due to the egg, liquid and solid butter combining. Add in the vanilla extract. Now add the dry ingredients and mix it on low speed until combined. Finally, pour in the butter milk and just mix until combined. If you don't have butter milk, you can make it by mixing a tablespoon of lemon juice in a cup of milk. Butter milk is important and don't skip this step because it yields an extra moist cake crumbs. The batter will be slightly thick. Grease the cake pan with butter and add a parchment paper at the bottom. Then dust the sides of the pan with a plain flour. Now pour the batter into the cake pan and tap it to get rid of the bubbles. Bake for around 20 to 25 minutes. Now 
Let's start making the dripping gel. In the pan, add corn flour, sugar, water and mix it well without any lumps. Do this without switching on the flame. Once it is combined well, switch on the flame and cook it on low flame. Continuously stir it and cook it until the mixture turns into transparent. The dripping gel should be in flowing consistency. Switch off the flame once you get the correct consistency. Then add food coloring and any fruit flavoring extract. If you don't have fruit flavoring extract, you can just add vanilla extract. Keep it aside and let it cool completely. Now let's start making the fresh cream. In the bowl add 2 cups of heavy whipping cream, 4 tablespoons of confectioner's sugar and vanilla extract. The heavy cream should be cold. The colder the cream the easier and more successful it will whip. Beat the mixture on medium-high speed about 3 to 4 minutes until it forms stiff peaks. Do not overwork the cream then it becomes buttery. Now let's frost the cake and decorate it. Cool down the cake completely before frosting and decorating. I'm using a cake leveler to level my cake layers. You can also use a serrated knife. In the first layer, dollop a large amount of cream in the middle and smooth it out.
Here I am adding some grape jam for cake filling. Keep the second layer on the top and repeat the same and cover the cake with cream and smooth it out. Now take the gel in a piping bag and start piping it at the edge of the cake so that it drips down slowly. Now pour the remaining gel at the top of the cake and smooth it out using a spoon. Then start piping your designs using the whipped cream. I'm adding some white pearls on the top. Then cut your favorite fruits into slices and decorate the top of the cake. Here I have used some apples, oranges, blueberries and strawberries. Dip the fruit slices in sugar syrup before decorating for a beautiful glaze. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do try it and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you in the next video.